have been endowed by God with gifts and grace for success. Esther chapter 2 and verse 7. And Mordecai had brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother. The young woman was lovely and beautiful. When her father and mother died, Mordecai took her as his own daughter. This week, what we want to do is to look at the story of Esther, given to us, of course, in the book of Esther in the Old Testament. And we want to learn some lessons on how God works in the lives of ordinary people like you and me, and how He uses us to accomplish things of significance and importance for His kingdom. And that is the story of Esther, a simple, ordinary young Jewish girl who was in fact an orphan. And she was taken in by her cousin Mordecai, who raised her up and brought her up. And if you and I can imagine what her view of life and what her expectation for her future would have been, uh, we would probably conclude that she didn't have too much to look forward to. She was an orphan, uh, didn't have much of a, a social or economic backing. Uh, she was being brought up uh, out of the graciousness of her own cousin Mordecai. And uh, nothing great to look forward to in life. Uh, but yet, the Bible tells us here that God had endowed Esther with something that he could use in her life. She was lovely and beautiful. That was a grace that was on her life. Now, whether she realized it or not, or whether she even thought it mattered, yet God would use that very thing to position her to do something of significance for his people and for uh, his purposes. So this teaches us something here that even though we may be simple, ordinary people, and uh, in the natural, there may be uh, nothing much to write about us, yet there is definitely something that God has placed in each of our lives. Some grace, some gift, some skill, which God can use to release His purposes and to position us for success. When we talk about success, we are talking about doing something of significance for the kingdom of God and to further His purposes here on earth. We are not talking about success from material terms where people think about you know, accumulating wealth and having a lot of fame and fortune that may or may not always come when we talk about biblical success or God-given success. We are talking about living meaningful lives. We are talking about doing something of value, something of significance, something that will release and further God's purposes here on earth. That's what we mean by success or success from a biblical perspective. And what we must understand is that in each of our lives, there is something, some gift, some grace that God has already endowed us with and which we need to recognize, which we need to nurture, and which we, will, we need to understand that God will use those to cause us to do something of significance for His kingdom. For Esther, it was her natural beauty. In your life, there is something that God has placed. You need to discover it and let God work through it for His glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that You have placed grace and gift in each of our lives through which, Lord, we can do something of significance for Your kingdom, something that will cause us to be successful, fruitful, for your glory and for your honor. Help us to discover it and help us to work, use those gifts for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.